Welcome to the pit call lesson for Google App Inventor. Today what we're going to be doing is creating an app called pit call that will allow us to click on a picture and call somebody. Get started by logging into Moodle. Go ahead and scroll down to where it says KSAT. Click on KSAT and then click on our class and under that you'll see where it says Google App Inventor sign up click on that and that'll take you to the sign in for Google App Inventor uh, once you're there just go ahead and log in and you're gonna go to my projects and you're gonna click new we're gonna create a new project and the project name will be all one word we're gonna name it pick call and you're gonna capitalize the P and capitalize the C in call and all together no spaces and once we do that we'll see that the um, Google App Inventor will open up on the left you see the palettes so you have the basic buttons and some other ones that we'll go through next to it you have the viewer which is basically the phone and as you add components they'll appear on the phone on the viewer the components will be listed right here and then once you have a component selected over here will be the properties for the component so four basic little sections here that you need to be aware of we're gonna start out by opening the block editor and down here it'll say save on mine um, I'm using Google Chrome. It's a different browser than what you guys have in class with Google Firefox, or not Google, but Firefox. Um, what you need to do is the little download window will come up, and you just click. It'll say Open With. Make sure that radio button's checked, and you just click OK, and the Java will pop up. Java is what's going to be running the emulator and the block editor uh, in Google App Inventor so just let it start up it may take a while while it's doing that I'm just gonna leave it down on the side you can minimize it while it's doing that so once you have that up what you want to do is go under the palette section and left click and drag button onto the viewer Ah, and there the block editor has opened up so this is what the block editor looks like and we will just minimize it for now okay so if you didn't get that button thing what you do is you left click and you drag your button onto the viewer and we're going to change some stuff up on the button under properties we're going to go down to where it says width and height and we're going to make them 150 pixels by 150 pixels. And remember you have 72 pixels in an inch so our buttons gonna be two, a little over two inches by two inches and as we change it you can see it change on the viewer. Next thing we're gonna do is go to image here and we're gonna add in an image and we're just having fun with this so basically you wanna find a picture of someone that you want to call because when you click on the button it'll call that person so if it's Justin Bieber get a picture of Justin Bieber just a little thing you need to know though our buttons 150 by 150 so when you get the picture you're gonna to have to open it in Photoshop or in the GIMP and then resize it so that it'll fit within 150 by 150 okay so we'll choose file once you have it and then go to where you saved it and select your picture and hit OK and when we do that you'll see the picture come up there we go and the text color if you have a dark picture you want to adjust the text color to something lighter so it'll show it there we go under text here this will be the text for the button you're gonna type in press to call so whoever's using your app knows that they need to press 
the image to call. Let me try a different color. There we go. That'll work. And then we're going to rename the button. So we have button 1 selected. You're going to click rename. And when you're renaming components, there are no spaces in the name. So we're going to rename our component top button. Click OK. Alright, once we have that, now we need to go to the social section. So under your palette, you're going to go to the social section. And we're going to select where it says phone call. And we're going to left click and drag it onto the viewer. And as we do that, you'll see it says non visible components, phone call one. So it puts it down, it's a non visible component. You can't see it. And it's just something to think about. We could change up our lesson. If we wanted to do texting, we could do a texting or Twitter or an email. So there's different things that you can do with these the social um, buttons here. All right, with uh, under components with phone call one selected, you're going to go ahead and put in the phone number of that person. And I'm not actually going to do that because my wife doesn't want y'all calling her. And we're going to rename that to top call. And as you can see, there's no spaces there. Capitalize the T, capitalize the C. Don't put any spaces. Click OK. Next thing we need to do is go to the Blocks Editor. So go ahead and open that up. And under My Blocks, you're going to select the Top button. And you're going to select when Top button is clicked. So you're saying when the top button is clicked, you want it to do this. And what we want it to do is make the phone call. So you need to find where it says top button make phone call. And it's actually, it's under top call here. So it'll say call, and then top call, make phone call. So we've set it up. So when the top button is clicked, it'll do this. It'll call. There we go. And then the next thing we need to do is go, we can minimize the block enter. We're going to go back <clears throat> to the social section again. And we're going to do phone number picker. And we're going to change the text here. And you're going to put press to pick a number to call. And go ahead and change your um, text color if you'd like. I'll just leave it at black. And we're going to rename this one. And we're going to rename it Top Pick. All one word, capitalize the T and the P. And we need to open up the block editor again. And open the drawer for Top Pick and find where it says win top pick after picking so it's the very top one and we want it to do this under top call we're going to set the 
top call phone number two. And then you're going to put top pick phone number. Let's go to top pick. Top pick phone number. So when um, top pick selected, it's going to do this. It's going to set the top call to the top pick phone number. And once we have that, let's go ahead and click Save. And we can click on New Emulator here. And let's see, we'll click OK here. The emulator takes a little while to uh, come up. And if you don't see that New Emulator button, the block editor larger, make the window larger. It takes a little while. What the emulator does is it simulates basically a phone where we can test our application. Now since um, we don't have it set up for making phone calls and stuff, um, it'll say that the phone's not activated. Um, but basically we've we've programmed it correctly so that when you click on this picture it should call the number that you have set up so if you've done that just go ahead and make sure that you click save here and when your emulator pops up go ahead and try it out you'll be done with this lesson